He's trying to take a fifth right now, so Marcel's actually in a good spot in that regard and is able to max out before Suffy. The, the creep spread, however, is over halfway across the map. It's looking yeah, I think great from, for him. From this point on, the drop should actually be a little bit more effective. There are Vikings on the way, which should be able to clear out these overlords. And all the uh, Mutalists pretty much died, so if there was ever a good moment to start dropping, it would probably be right now with only a single Mutalist. No, even that one died. No Mutalists on the map anymore. He's dropping this uh, fifth base as well on the right top side of the map while slowly but steady moving forward in the left bottom. Ooh, I also like mines. the addition of the Raven here. Just adding on a single Raven to detect Ooh, creep. Oh, two more Raven. Oh! Decent hits right there. Decent hits. They did hit mostly on these Ultralisks. Of course, if there are any Queens, the Queen count's actually surprisingly low this time around, so we're not going to be seeing too many Transfusers. But he's adding on two more Ravens at a time here. I like this. This is something that he didn't do previously. It gives him a lot of longer range splash. Also gives him detection against this creep without having to waste scans. So overall, the Raven, I think, is a great addition. A little bit of a drop as well on the main base, but Soppy is just still all over, all over that. It. Having some static defenses and also bringing in links in the right amount of time. Uh, but during all this, Masa is slowly but steadily securing his fifth base, and that allows him to transition into Sky Terror, and that allows him to get that higher Raven count. And, yep, another Starfall uh, yep. coming down for just that reason. Mm -hmm. uh, this game is far from over right now. That Master's army looks pretty damn intimidating, to be honest. Yeah, he's, he's correcting a lot of things that he did last time around, and, you know, these armies look really similar, but the devil's in the details. The, the addition of the Ravens, the extra starports being added on, the Terran ship weapons coming Ooh. up. Oh, such a nice little move there by Soppy. In the right bottom side, there were two medivacs. One was extremely low on HP, but the Spore Crawler was focusing the other one, and I think Soppy just caught a glimpse of it, and he had, like, 0.2 seconds to reply to actually uh, focus the right medevac down, and he did it immediately, manually uh, switching targets. Well done by Soppy. Very nice, very nice to see that cleaned up. My master's drop just shut down completely. Little bits of enemies thrown down again, it's falling down the edge of the cliff in a fairly pathetic fashion. But I mean, this is a good time for Soppy to engage, honestly, because there's medevacs across the map, and master's army is probably at his weakest point that's been for the last couple of minutes. The ravens get caught oh. out before they can do anything. All right, here come the seeker missiles. Target an overlord. An overlord. That's not going to do anything. The no, one goes into the middle much. there, and it's going to hit that one Broodlord, but that was pretty useless. And right now, lots of Infestors moving in, but a good Concave here by Masa trying to fight. Another Fungal goes down, though. This is so close between these two, and Masa is able to almost maybe... Oh. Oh, he's bringing the Vikings in right now. There, it looks like he's going to finally break it down. Good Lord. So close. More Vikings coming in right now, but yes, as you mentioned, these Broodlords ain't going home. A couple of transfusions remain, but eventually this Broodlord should die. Because yeah. I don't think any reinforcements NTS coming in. More and more Ravens joining oh. in the fun as well. Oh keep man. I... Oh, I don't <laughs> think that was actually necessary. I mean, no. I think he should have saved that. He should have used his Vikings to... Because that's a lot of energy. Yeah. And now there's a follow-up push, like Masling streaming in here. Masa trying to reinforce, trying to rebuild his army, but that takes longer. Suppy is trying his best to do damage with the links, but they are getting cleaned up reasonably effectively. We've got more units coming in, and suddenly the Sky Terran isn't doing anything because there's too many links on the ground. Yeah, there are still like 64 links remaining, but a lot of helmets are in production. The Vikings even landing as well. Masa, they're really trying to make his best to make a stand here. And oh my god, this is beautiful for Hellbats. They're going to kill so many Zerglings over Oh, there. what a hold. Man, that was the Spartans at the gates right there. He manages to hold that down nicely. Another Fungal comes in. That's going to kill one Raven by the looks of it. We may see... What, well, we're definitely going to see one dead Infester. A little bit of damage on the second one here as well. But these oh. Ultras continue to batter down the gates. The never-ending battle between Masa and Sobby. They've been fighting for a good three or four solid minutes by now. These Ultras they are finally pushed back. The Queens are still making work as well, killing so many air units. So many transfusions going down as well, at least on this one Ultra. And now the other Ultra is getting quite a bit of love as well. More Fungals landing. This is just madness. Oh no, it's the Hero Ultra. It's getting all the fu it's getting all the transfusers right now. Master's able to catch some of the Queens out. Kills one. It's probably going to kill a second one right here as well. He's still alive, but the supply count difference yes. is massive. Can Soppy like ever drop in supply or where does it come from? Is this I, I have up? no idea. He, he has been like around 190, 200 for the last few minutes. More <laughs> yes. Ultras are on the way. That's going to take it up to a grand total of eight. There's only 11 Marauders on the map. There is massive Marauder production, but a big Ling run by is going to hit that. A drop doesn't find anything, expecting to find a base there. It's not there yet. Planetary is down pretty much immediately. That's a lot of, you know, the, his bank there was in that base and now it's gone. Soppy is playing some really fantastic Starcraft over here. He's just all over it, never really taking any damage of a lot of drops. There's another big drop sort of on the right top side of this map with a couple of Marauders and Hellbats. 
But Sophie always has a couple of units over there. No, oh, he's losing a couple of investors. Of course, there are a few slip-ups in a game like this, but his macro has been impeccable. I have no idea where he's getting all these units from. Tomas is still alive somehow. I don't know how that's happening. And he's catching investor after investor, banely after banely. He is fighting as hard as he can. Neural Parasite is being added in here for Suppy. I have a feeling he wants to turn those ravens against his opponent. That's a possibility. Mm, but that would be awesome. That would be amazing to see, actually. But it's this Ultra Army that's really scary now for Masa. If Suppy goes in right now, which I think he should, Unless he gets caught in a really awful engagement, he should have more than enough to obliterate what remains of Master's army here. A couple of fungus going down on a few remaining bio units. Uh, Master's still trying to drop around the map, but it's just not really doing anything. He's going to send out two more metafacts to the right top side right now. <laughs> One or two bailings really connected well on the left bottom side of this map. Soppy just has too many units. That's just yeah. what it boils down to. He's all over the place. The, the thing about Ultras, and this is actually something that In Control said a couple of days ago, is Ultras are really bad at attacking things. Like, attacking into a ramp or into a base, Ultras are pretty bad at them. But, as you said, Massa is dedicating to drops that just get shut down every single time. He cannot fight like this, but he also can't leave his Zerg opponent alone just to keep mining. What does he do from here? I have no idea. I mean, how many Ultras do we have on the map? We have 11, 11. Ultra lists. Yeah. It's a mighty number. As long as he shuts down this fifth base right now, Massa is going to try to retake it. But of course, Soppy is not going to let that happen. It is still a pretty big army, though, from Massa. Like, if Soppy takes a horrible fight, this could still go either way. Oh no, the fungal! He catches a bunch of medivacs out of position. They shouldn't have even been there. And they're all going to die now. Oh, that's a loss he couldn't really afford. Only three medivacs are remaining. Of course, this did, did, did take away a lot of energy from these investors. But still, you know, that was definitely worth, worth it. it. Yeah, totally worth it. And the Ultras are now backing off. He realized, yep, got I've got to take good engagement. Ultras can still die if they get caught in a narrow choke point. There's still there's a, a decent amount of Hellbats at the front now, which is something that wasn't there previously. Working on plus one weapons. That's about to finish there as well. Free spreading coming in. A fungal lands on the right flank here. There's are there too many units? I think he's trying to land buildings to mess with the Ultralisk pathing. Yeah, that would have been awesome, but that wall will, uh, unfortunately for him, not go up. The best thing is for Soppy, though, he's going back to Brute Lords. He's like, all right, I think you just lost all your Vikings, right? Yeah, that's cool. Let me go back to Brute Lords and see how well your Helvets, Marauders, and Marines will deal with that. Soppy is playing this extremely well and really making this a nightmare game for Master, despite Master playing pretty damn good, too. Man, Mass is still in it, but not by much. Big Fungal goes down, again, trying to use those buildings as a wall. But as uh, you said, those Broodlords, are, unless the oh, unless the Broodlords get caught out of position, he moves in, he gets a great concave. There's so many Ultralisks, though. Can he really fight this? No, surely not. So close. The second ultra, the second Broodlord was so low on HP as well, but then the Ultras came back to save the oh, day. And all the every and piece is everywhere. Oh. Just armies flying. Oh, GG, what a game, what a series from really? Suppy and Massa. That was amazing. Uh, that was a really cool play from either side. And we're going to have to wonder, like, how much did these small mistakes... I really want to figure out as well whether he forgot uh, the start in game one or not. But overall, a really ent entertaining series and just enjoyable. And I really think Massa... Despite going 0-4 today, he, uh, he played against two absolutely fantastic Zerg players. Yeah, two did. of the best Zergs in North America without a shadow of a doubt. Maybe even the two best Zergs in North America if Scarlet is in Korea. Incredible. Awesome series. And now we get to see the match that everyone's been waiting for. Suppy versus Hello Kitty rematch. <laughs> That's going to be fun. Suppy is definitely going to be uh, a lot more cautious than he's been in the previous best of three. And uh, Hello Kitty's gonna have to pull a new rabbit out of his hat. Yeah, I wonder how many rabbits are in that hat of his. You know, he uh, was not really able lot. to do that against Kane, but yeah, I, I have heard that there are many rabbits. It's got a smell <laughs> in there after a while, surely. A lot of rabbits. Man, a really fun series. Great play from either side. That was great. That was awesome. That's why I love TBZ. Great matchup. Well, unfortunately for Massa, that is his tournament life brought to an end. He put on a really good show. Like, I wouldn't say that any of those games weren't close. Everyone he played was knife edge. It was really, really good. But unfortunately, it just wasn't quite enough today. So, sad to see Massa go out because his play was really, really cool. But that such is the way of things. We have to lose two people from this group. And now we will find out who the remaining player will be. Will it be Hello Kitty? Can he defeat Suppy again, or will Suppy take revenge to go through with Kane? We will find out after this break, folks. You're watching Shoutcraft America. Do not go anywhere.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Welcome back to Shoutcraft America. Things got really, really interesting all of a sudden, didn't they? Well, this has been actually a great group as far as I'm concerned. We've seen some incredible matches. And we have one more for you today. And it is going to be the rematch, the legendary rematch. The thing that everyone has been waiting for. It is Hello Kitty versus Suppy once again. Guys, welcome back to the show. Hello. Hello. Subby, how are you feeling after that match? That was... Oh, that was some intense, oh, no. intense play. Okay, now cool. I'm going to pawn the Hello Kitty. <laughs> 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 Alright, well... I've got to say Hello Kitty. Not a lot of people were expecting you to break that out against Suppy, and yet you did. She Unfortunately, you weren't able to deal with Kane, who's just been playing <laughs> super monstrously right now. So... Do you have anything left in your magical hat for this rematch? Oh, yeah. Um, Conan, you're gonna get some unexpected builds again. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> you don't get. You, hopefully, you don't get too ill like um, you did last time. And you left, rage left before I um, slash dance you in the uh, second game. Ooh, you gonna man. use the same builds or what? Maybe we'll see. You've already, you've already used them, man. You've already used them. I've seen them. Okay, I've just, already been revealed. You know, if I if I win today, I'm just going to um, dedicate a f ten shots of drinks <laughs> on your name. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, I'll yeah. take I, I'd, be happy, one of them. I'd be happy for you if you won. So, Hello Kitty, did the excessive drinking last night and the subsequent hangover actually help your play today? Uh, yeah, I mean, especially against Suppy, you know? Because, um, you know, I don't need that much skill against him. Just one hand, click, click, and win. You get more, you get more creative when you're drunk. You're hungover. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I actually thought about strategies against you this morning, so... Didn't really take much preparation. Suppy, this guy... He, he really feels like he's got a real shot against you. Do you think that's the case? He definitely does. I mean, his all-ins are really, really tough. I think if we play a macro game, I should be able to come up on top. But uh, it all comes down to scouting. We've played each other a lot. He uh, always puts stalkers everywhere around his base, so I can't scout, because usually I scout and like figure out what he's doing. So it'll be tough, but he's already revealed like four of his builds, and uh, I should be able to counter them. I have to wonder how many more he's got. He is a sneaky individual. I think everyone no knows that. No yet, right? I'm surprised. Where, where have those been? I don't know. They're, uh, they're a little outdated. Oh, <laughs> I see. All right, guys, we're going to go into this final map, and uh, no doubt it's going to be great. We're going to start off on Star Station here. Hello Kitty, what have you got to say to Suppy? You've beaten him 2-0 already, can you do it again? Yeah, pretty easily. There will only be one of us, one Chinese player stand in the round of eight, so should be me. Pretty easily. What Chinese player? What? Oh, I'm going to do this to you. <laughs> <laughs> Suppy, Suppy, seriously. We're, we're, we're going to get taken off the F animal abuse, we can't have that. <laughs> That's only as far as it goes. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, guys. Let, let's get ready to your stations, and this is going to be really interesting. Good luck, man. Uh, Have fun. <laughs> these guys. <laughs> Sophie is so funny. Oh, man. Okay. Pr predictions, Kevin, going into this one. Uh, I really like Hello Kitty, he's an awesome guy. For people who don't understand the weird sense of humor, by the way, guys, he is really just trolling. He's actually a really nice and humble person in your life, but I think Stoppy's gonna take this one 2-0. Uh, I really like how Stoppy said he already revealed four of his builds, which basically means like, hey, I've been watching your games against Kane too, man. And I think that's a very smart thing to do already, uh, obviously, as well. And uh, I think if this goes into the late game, Stoppy's macro, like a passive 15-minute mark, seems to be really, really good. Like, it just... Keeps injecting, always has live, and knows when to tech switch. So I think this is going to be very tough for Hello Kitty, but we will see. Yeah, it will be. We could see surprises, man. Some oh, people. Be. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of Chinese going on in the chat. I have no idea what's going on here, but I, I don't know. It's a lot of people seem to dislike the whole all-in style, but at the end of the day, it takes a lot of skill to execute that. And as a competitive player, all that really matters is that you win. You know, that your aim is to win. It's not to play a 50-minute macro game where you show off the full range of your potential. It's to win. And yep. if you can... And some people will tell you exactly the same thing. 
Now, Suppy goes, he uses the same build twice against Ryung, Roachbane all in. Why? Because it wins. Because it's effective, and no one should ever take that away from him. And quite frankly, it's the same deal here. No, I couldn't agree more, obviously. Uh, you play StarCraft to win, it is very fun to play long hour games and be entertaining and show off awesome stuff and have flashes multitasking. But if you don't, then you can still make some money while um, yeah, switching it up by playing a macro game every now and then and having lots of different crazy types of builds. I mean, there's a reason why you win. It means that your builds are good and that your execution is good because, hey, everyone would be able to do all in if it's really all that simple, which is obviously not. No, it absolutely isn't. You see so many players just all in all the time and just fail completely. And this is not something that we see all that much from Hello Kitty. Wow, oh, that sounds like a description of my stream. Are you watching? <laughs> yes, I, I am quite, actually. That That is... <laughs> Surprisingly what I've heard from a lot of people, man. No, 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 it's really not all that bad. I actually, you know, lately I actually had the request to cheese more because they said every game you open up and expand, give us some crazy cheese builds. You see, so it's not all that bad anymore. But in Wings of Liberty, I have to admit, I was pretty bad. <laughs> Good to know, man. Good to know. I actually saw you play against, I think you were in the hot beta, King of the Hill. You ended up playing against... Crank, and I think you lost wow. in six and a half minutes. Is that true? Yeah, thank you for reminding me of the beautiful <laughs> game. I remember that game. That was interesting, yeah. to say the On least. New York City, that was awful. That was really sad. Oh, man. Hey, it's PvP. It's a coin flip, Total Biscuit. It could have easily been the other way. <laughs> yeah, man. If, if only you'd built that probe at that time and not the other time. Totally a coin flip, but... <laughs> oh, man. Okay. It, we are in, and it is already on. These guys have already begun the nonsense. We totally encourage that. Some tournaments say, no, you may not chat. We would prefer that you did. It means that we have to do less work to entertain you. Oh, that's that's nice. I like that. That's cool. So here we go in the southeast position in the Red Trunks playing Protoss. It is Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty. We'll be, be saying goodbye, Kitty. We will find out shortly. Because he's up against this guy, the monster who just took out Master 2 0 in some amazing games. Let's see if he can repeat that performance. Having lost already this player, he needs a comeback. He is Evil Geniuses Suppy. <laughs> really? Really? We're going to break out the Mulan references. This is where this game has got to. <laughs> oh, Suppy opening up with the 14 pool. So he's going to play it very safe. His opponent is actually going up with uh, Gateway Expand, taking both assimilators already. That's really I mean, that early like for Star Station. Gas. Yep. I kind of wonder where he's going to do it. He knows... Uh, yes. Did he lose his probe? Or how the... Wait. If you use the vision thing from Hello Kitty, it actually shows creep. I guess that's just a bug in this client. Yeah. That makes no sense. I was really yeah. confused for a second. Yeah, that, like, what? yeah <laughs> th that, do that doesn't actually show him the creep. Those worrying, it's like, know. hang on, is he seeing the creep and his starting position? No. This is just something we get to see as observers. It's not something that you get to see in game heart. So, just important to know. Looks like Suppy may, in the trash talk, have actually made an extra drone. That's a little bit unfortunate. <laughs> you can never have too many drones as a Zerg player. Certainly not early on. No, no, I certainly think not, but we will see. So the gateway expand, the cybercore come down here as well. Going to start off, obviously, with the zealot, and it's this early gas that I'm really interested in. He started with two in each, which is he's been doing, but he never built them on 15, not at the same time. So that's going to give him a ton of gas to do what exactly? We will see. Maybe some uh, just gateway pressure with a couple of sentries. Um, it could also be a ridiculously quick stargate, but that would be very greedy and kind of unlikely after this follow-up because he doesn't have a wall off in the natural yet. So I definitely think we're going to see him open up with at least three, if not four gates and uh, move out with a mothership core, not necessarily to really commit to something, but see if he can. And if he can, we are. And if he can't, well, that's okay. He still probably has something to fall back on. Ooh, a little bit of lag. It's well, actually soppy. That's a pretty interesting build right there by Hello Kitty. Was able to disconnect his opponent from the game. That, <laughs> we didn't expect that one, certainly, but... Uh, this this is kind of annoying. This this we will most likely have to resume from replay by the looks of it. <laughs> the admin is like, God, no, please, no. It's a boss... <laughs> That's what you get for punching the cat, man. You can never, ever trust cats. 
<laughs> yeah, I laughed. So, I laughed so loud when he did this. It could have looked so wrong if you're watching that without. The... Well, no, he <laughs> isn't, guys. Sad. That doesn't count. We will be resuming from replay or attempting to, at any rate. Many apologies, but Subby just DC'd. We're not actually sure why at all. It's entirely possible that the cat ate the keyboard. This will most assuredly be this is a resume, but we need to be sure that they won't see the builds. So we are going to go and sort that out right now. Nothing really went down yet, though. The only thing that's really kind of means something is the mothership core that was in production. No additional buildings went down yet. Nothing was being researched. So everything was pretty straight up and it should be fine. But if there would be one player in the world that I would trust by not looking at the other guy's build, it's definitely Soppy. Like, Soppy would literally cover his own eyes before uh, and the game is to the point where he's allowed to look at the screen test. Yeah. I don't think there are many more people in the scene as honest as he would be. Yeah, what we're doing right now is we're making sure we get the players back into the lobby ASAP and make sure they do not look at replays. Obviously, we know yeah. whether they're looking at replays or not. Suppy's currently offline, so he doesn't have the ability to do that. Obviously, as soon as he gets back in, we'll bring him immediately into a lobby to prevent that from actually happening. Ah, uh, these two guys, uh, I have total faith that we have nothing to worry about. Nothing. Uh, these two guys yeah. are too nice for that, man. They're yeah, too honest. I, I definitely agree. But there mm -hmm. is, there's money on the line. Who knows? Of it's, course. It's an online tournament. It's very hard to prove. But we will do our best to make sure this does not happen. We will be figuring out the best way to resume this without showing the build. We'll be right back.